In this video, I'm going to demonstrate character styles and paragraph styles. I'm going to start with the paragraph styles. And you can get the paragraph styles and your character styles window from the window menu and go down to your type and they're all located down there. Okay. So as you can see, this paragraph I have selected here, it's, um, it's green, it's uh, hobo, hobo standard medium typeface, and it's left aligned with a right rag. So your paragraph styles, you can format both the character, meaning the type character, all these little features in your type character window. You can also format the paragraph styles and those formatting attributes and so those can be applied to a selected paragraph or a range of paragraphs all right so essentially you know that paragraph styles include both paragraph settings and the type character settings start with i'm going to go to my paragraph styles and create a new style and i'm going to name this the the typeface that i want to get so i'm going to go get my sans source pro and I go to my basic character formats and then I just go find my typeface. And I can choose the style or the weight and the size and my letting and my tracking. And then you can add it to your library, which is nice, and you'll see that as you make your styles, they get, if you save them to your library, then they show up in your library window. And then that's available to you in, in another file. So you can access the styles that you've set up. The advanced character formats, I don't really need to do any of that, but this basically is the second set of windows underneath in your character. So the first set is the standard ones with the name of the typeface and the size and the letting. And then down here, this is the next set of windows, your horizontal and vertical scale, your baseline shift, which moves a character or a, a line of type above or below the baseline, and then the rotation. So actually, why don't we do a, a rotation just so we can see that? We'll do like 60 degree. All right, and then there's some other features. I'm just going to go down to character color and we'll choose black. Okay, so add it to my library and hit OK. So now all I have to do is click on my type and then just click on my style and you can see there is my style. Okay, if I want to edit that, maybe I wanted to, originally I wanted to set my paragraph, right, my paragraph formatting. I want to justify with the last line aligned at left. So all you have to do is double click, double click on it, go to your indents and spacing, hit alignment, left justify. So the drop down window here corresponds to your paragraph window over here. So I'll do left justify. And at this point, I'm going to go up to my advanced character. I'm going to just clear my uh, rotation. I'm going to hit OK. And now I have it, it, it automatically updated. If, you're, if your text is selected, then it automatically updates. OK? So that's your paragraph styles. And next I'm going to just demonstrate the character styles. So I'm going to get rid of my window over here. Oh, and there you can see, there's your, there. It keeps track of each of my styles that I make in my library. I've been working on my layout and I'm at the point where I want to customize my subheadlines. So it's a perfect opportunity to use the character styles. So I'm going to first start with creating a new style. And I'm going to call this subheading. And I'm going to go to my basic format. And now I have to go down again to my Source Sans Pro. And I want it to be semi-bold, a little heavier. The size is going to be 10. 
the leading, I'll put it 12. And most of my subheadings are one line, but there is one subheading that is uh, at least a couple of lines. So I'm, I'm going to set the, the leading for that. And then my tracking, you know, I usually default at 25, but I want it to be a little bit more. So I'm just going to bump it up to, let's try 38. My character color, I, I want that kind of dark red. So that's the dark red right there. I'll select that. And there's my subheadings character style. So now all I have to do is go over and get my text tool. And I'm going to go in and highlight my subheading and apply that style. And you just kind of have to move through and do each, each subheading. And at any time, if the settings don't work, then I can just go in and, and edit them. And this is the one I'm wondering about because it's it's a long it's a long headline there. Well, that worked out okay. And one more. Okay. Okay. So now my Layout is kind of starting to come to life just with creating a little bit of variation in my columns. And I'm going to zoom in and see how those look. And I did notice that there's a spelling mistake. Uh, rhythm has an H in it right there. So we'll fix that. And I'm going to move these out of the way and just see how things look. Okay, so that's essentially your character style. And it works good when you have something, you know, like here we had a number of subheadlines, so it saves a little bit of time if you set up your character styles to do that. The last thing is just reviewing. There are a couple of other requirements that you have to work with in your page layout. And one of them is you have to have your folio, which is located at the bottom on the right side. So that's the, basically the name of your publication and the page number. You're gonna to have to either imagine a, a fictitious publication or otherwise and, and come up with that. And it can just be basic type, but sometimes you, you can do a little type treatment. You know, it's really subtle because it's small, but essentially I used a contrasting sans serif typeface and I staggered the letter G and kind of come up, came up with a little graphic technique just playing with uh, each letter. Uh, Graphis was actually a design magazine that is no longer. And then the other thing that you have to do is your running head. And this is my running head. And that can be like a section of a publication. Sometimes magazines have set sections and they'll indicate that in the running headline. So, this section of my magazine is Design Showcase, which means that if it's a monthly magazine, every month there would be a different feature story on some, some design style or some, some design trend, okay? So make sure you look at your requirements and get all of your page parts in there. And uh, if it would help to work with your character styles, then give those a try. They're, they're, they're pretty handy.